Check, check, check. <clears throat> What's up, guys? How's it going? Put some music here. Anyways, uh, damn, it's been a while. Damn, it's been a while, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope your day, your weekend has started phenomenally. Halfway through the year, the mark, right? Get rid of the first half of the year, it's gone. The markets, they soared and roared for the first six months. I posted a tweet, I think it was in uh, January. Was it January? Where I basically talked about the next six months are gonna be absolutely mind blowing in the stock market and it was correct. There were massive gains uh, to be made and it's been a good situation. However, I wanted to uh, chop it up with you guys for a couple minutes because it's been a while. Last time we spoke live, you and I, I was in Singapore. Uh, now I'm back on the island. As many, uh, as many as you know, I live in, in the Caribbean. So I'm back on the island. We're back with the palm trees. We're back with the good weather. It's a good situation. But I did want to chop it up with you guys for a couple minutes, talk business, talk money, see how you guys are doing and kind of go from there. But anyways, so I'm back on the island. As you guys know, I live in the Caribbean due to the simple fact that it's 0% tax on capital gains out here. So, you know, let's say I make a trade with Bitcoin and I make $50,000, right? I get to keep all of it. In the US, you would have to pay a nice uh, percentage of it out to the mafia, but when you live in certain jurisdictions or if you have certain nationalities, there's a ton of countries out there that in fact don't have capital gains. They don't recognize that as a, as a form of income, which is really nice. But uh, the United States it, and Australia are the two countries that really enforce like this global tax policy, which they kind of chase you around regardless of where you go. But anyways, uh, I was I was sitting down. Was it yesterday? I think I was. I, I wanted to go live yesterday, <clears throat> but I decided to, to change it for some for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I was sitting down and I was just thinking about like how difficult is it truly to win. So I sat down and it was like, how difficult is it to actually win? It, if you gauge winning in life, right? by a simple standard, good health, uh, good finances, good relationships, uh, good mental space, and working towards a purpose, I think you could define that as somebody that's winning. Because most people aren't even doing that, right? So you end up being in a situation whereby you can actually set a plan towards winning and actually win. I can't, I can't guarantee that you'll become the best, but I can guarantee that you'll be better than where you currently are in any realm of, of, uh, of, of your life, whether it's business, whether uh, it's relationships. And it all boils down to two ingredients. And these two ingredients, I think when I was sitting down I was like, wow, if people actually implemented these three ingredients on a day-to-day -day basis, they would end up being in a situation where they can actually craft a plan of success. The first ingredient that I think if people apply these two ingredients in a rigorous fashion as a stepping stool to their success and they incorporate it as a habit in their life, they can actually win. I genuinely, guys, and, and I'm not, and I'm sympathetic to the fact that there's a lot of people that started, that started their journey with nothing, right? Uh, with no connections, no relationships, no handouts. But the truth is, as long as you have access to the internet and you can afford a $20 a month chat GPT subscription, then do you truly have an excuse? It's really hard for me to justify not winning 
regardless and, and, and there's there's spectrums to this right on the top echelon you have people that will never have to work from the day that they're born and then on the bottom side of the echelon you have people that literally have to walk 10 miles in order for them to get drinking water right so on the lower side of the spectrum i i i don't speak to these individuals that you know they don't have access to the internet they don't have cell phones uh they are in war-torn countries there it the the mindset is different, right? The mindset is survive, it's not thrive. But once you can get out of surviving and you have the luxury and the commodity of thriving, then that's something that you need to activate. And the first way that you really activate it is with intentionality. I said two ingredients, but in fact, it's three. The first one is intentionality. like. If you actually sat down there and set a goal up for yourself, like actually went out there and said, you know what, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel and I'm gonna create a hundred pieces of content, but for what reason? You know, a lot of these people on the internet that, that talk, that give advice, they tell you what to do, but they, there's no train of, train of thought and there's no process as to why you should do it. And that's a self-realization that you have to obtain because maybe you're doing it because you want to become somebody else. And that's where the fallacy lies is in the inability that people have to be intentional towards what they want in life. So, you know, I, I'll be frank with you guys. When I, when, I, when I used to not have a lot of money, I was in a situation whereby my first objective was to become a millionaire. Right, like that was the objective. That's that's a good objective. Like it's a number that you can hit. It's a it's a specific metric that is attainable. And then once I hit the million dollars, liquid net profit in in my bank, I was like, oh shit! Like I didn't really have a goal. Like that was just a marker, an objective. But the goal should be much bigger, right? The goal should be that this idea of becoming a millionaire is just this is part of the equation. This keeps you on your toes, sharp and intentional long term, right? Because what happens, uh, well, what happened to me is I made my first million dollars and I didn't do anything for like three months. And I just kind of just sat around. Why? Because I hit my goal. So I hit my goal because I was intentional about having one. But when I literally sit down with most people, they talk to me and fuck bro. Like I asked them about their goals, guys, and I'll be frank with you, I'll be frank with you. I even sit down and talk with, with guys that are doing multiple eight figures, even nine figures, and I ask them like, okay, what's the game plan? And they don't really have a game plan, you know? Like it's important to establish intentionality. Intentionality leads to a game plan, a game plan leads to a set of procedures that allow you to vet or foresee uh, potential uh, potholes or or fuck ups or opportunities so that you can reroute. And then through this intentionality and this planning, you can establish your what? Your strategy. I was talking with a uh, uh, with Gary Brecka, if you guys aren't familiar with Gary Brecka, he's a leading biohacker uh, that works with Grant Cardone. And uh, he was telling me, you know, how he, he trains UFC athletes. And at this point, the UFC athletes, they're not what they used to be, you know, 10, 12, 15 years ago, which is random people from random sports coming together to see who's gonna be the ultimate fighting champion in different styles. No. Nowadays, these athletes, they're getting curated and trained and basically bred to be gladiators. Now, what, why do I make this point? The reason I make this point is because when he was describing what the fighters uh, kind of really look like nowadays, he talks about this idea of chess, right? Like they look like chess players. They know how they're going to move. They know what they want to do ahead of time and they really plan for it. So if people plan for... Uh, a fight and even this concept of fighting becomes optimized through strategy and through planning I, I would 
I would argue that it's the same in your life, right? You need to establish a, a strategy and a plan of action so that you are in charge. Once you establish intentionality and you have a direction, then you have to move towards consistency, right? The consistency of what? The execution of the plan. And in the consistency is where you actually win the game. And the consistency is where the marathon uh, really displays who did their work and who was just lucky. Anybody can go out there and do a million dollars in a month on a Shopify store. It doesn't mean that they can repeat it in perpetuity for their entire life. And that's the difference between somebody that's hustling and somebody that understands the skill set of making money. And one of the ingredients to making money, ladies and gentlemen, is consistency. You know, I see so many people spend their first money, flex their first money, uh, become outrageously arrogant after they achieve their first money. And they don't really realize that it, the money is just the byproduct of consistently doing a repeated set of actions over an extended period of time that will allow you to achieve a certain objective or output. So on your first sector, you have this idea of intentionality, really planning out your goals. So the reason I tell you this is because if I ask most of you guys, what are your goals financially, physically, relationally, and to really write them out detailed for me, most of you guys would not be able to do that. But if you want to achieve a certain life, you have to, you have to know what you want. You have to know what you want. So once you've achieved a state of intentionality, you have committed to a format of consistency that allows you to span an expended period of time, an extensive period of time, excuse me, as opposed to burning out quickly because you're a one hit wonder, the final ingredient Should I reveal it? I want a little uh, alien emoji, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a little alien emoji. By the way, we're gonna do three Q and A's after this before we wrap up, three Q and A's. I'm gonna get three people on video, so you might wanna stick, uh, stay till the end because we're gonna bring three people up. Give me the alien emoji, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think it is? What is the, what is the third? ingredient to this trifecta because I was sitting there last night. I was like, dude, like it's, is it really that difficult to, to, to win? You ready? Believing that you can. <laughs> wow. Well, that was a science. Believing that you can. Do you believe that you can? In the deepest parts of your heart, when you look at success, when you look at an ideal life, do you believe it? Like, do you truly deep down believe that you deserve to win, that you deserve success? And the reason I mention this, guys, is because the system has designed you to have a lack of belief for you to be a naysayer. Guys, look at the Internet. Look at the Internet. When somebody who's successful loses or fails, everybody cheers. Everybody celebrates, everybody's, everybody's happy when somebody loses money or they fumble a big bag. But when somebody does extremely well, uh, most people look at that with disdain and they hate it or they become jealous because they can't believe that they themselves can achieve that same thing. So when you look at yourself in the mirror, do that right now, okay? I dare you, I dare you. I dare you. 
my friend. I dare you, my friend. Can I dare you to something? Can you take, can I, uh, can I take you guys up on a challenge? I'm gonna show you guys something that's gonna make you really uh, begin to understand how to unlock the self-belief. I want you guys to go to a mirror. Go to a mirror for me. In fact, I have, a, I have a mirror in front of me, so I'm actually gonna do it with you guys. Look at yourself in the mirror. Okay. Ready? Look at yourself and say this. You're doing a, you ready? Look at yourself in the mirror. And you have, but you have to believe this. Even if, even if it means lying to yourself. Okay. Look at yourself in the mirror. Truly. You, you see, you guys think that I'm just talking out of my ass, right? that the things that I say, they don't work, but they fucking work. <laughs> like they work. So look at yourself in the mirror and say, you're doing a good job. You are doing a good job. Keep it up. I believe in you. You're going to consistently pursue your goals. You're gonna be intentional about winning. I believe in you. I believe in you. You have to have these conversations with yourself. You have to believe that you were created for something amazing. If you were created to be average and you believe that you're just average then you will just do average things. You understand? So end up being in a situation where you focus on believing in your potential. Validate this belief through a consistent realization of habits that will solidify any sort of positivity and will reject any sort of negativity that comes into your mental real estate about your capabilities of achieving your goal. Consistency will give you that validation. And then finally, you need to finally have that plan so that you know where you're going whenever you're shaky or you lose confidence. But you have to believe that you can get to where you want to go. You have to believe that with enough consistency of input, you will achieve it. And you have to believe that you have what it takes. No man ever ended up at the top of the mountain by accident, my friend. No man, no woman ever ended up at the top of the mountain by accident. They didn't just get dropped there. There's a process of climbing. There's a process self-development there's a process of growth and there's a process of believing that you can and that belief is something that you have to earn so as I was sitting there and I was like can everybody like because I see it on the internet right like I see it on the internet and sometimes these thoughts They interject with my mind, right? These thoughts that people have, these comments that I see on the internet, and, and people say stuff like, not everybody can make 10K a month. And I sit there and I ask myself, do I believe that statement that that person just made that not everybody can make 10K a month? Like, do I believe that statement to be true? 10,000 US dollars a month or what that monetary value represents, right? Like what that represents in whatever currency, but in purchasing power. And my answer remains yes. Am I just
crazy? Do I like believe too much? Or is it actually possible with enough dedication and a good enough plan, enough work, enough build towards your personal development, your relationships, towards the accomplishment of your plan, you have no distractions, you have no excuses, you really can't do it? Like, does it make me a liar, a con artist to say that I think people can make money online? I think people can create a good lifestyle that isn't bound to a low paying nine to five. I would argue that with enough dedication, consistency, planning, belief, iteration and development you can achieve this goal so the question is do you believe my friend do you believe but i wanted to come up here chop it up with you guys for about 30 minutes as you guys know uh i well i'm headed actually to uh, la this week so i'm back on the road this week uh, as you guys know, Capital Club is opening up this summer. Little secret for you guys in here. Uh, my 369 price for a dollar a day is only going to be open for like two or three days, and then I'm changing it. So hopefully you guys get lucky because I'm not going to announce that uh, until the last minute. So you guys have a heads up there. But anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, Capital Club opening in a couple weeks this summer. You guys are about to be fucking mind blowing. It's going to be sick. Uh, headed to LA, shooting some crazy content with some crazy people, guys. Crazy, crazy people. Look forward to sharing that with you, uh, both inside of Capital Club and outside of Capital Club. And yeah, man, I really believe that you guys can crush it with a good network, a good group of people around you, intentionality towards setting goals, pursuing your goals hitting your goals, crushing your goals, and then not worrying about the output, just really focusing on the input and believing that you can. And I said it once, I'll say it a million times. Uh, sometimes you need others to believe in you more than you believe in yourself. So I believe in you guys. I think you guys are doing great. Keep your heads up. Q3 is on the way. Q4 is on the way next. Uh, so it's time to prepare. It's time to... Uh, be ahead of the game. Oh, somebody said, do we pay monthly or annually, Luke Belmar? Uh, we're doing annual, guys. Annual. Capital Club is a membership. Capital Club is a club. A digital experience, a physical experience, an entrepreneurial environment. So Capital Club is a yearly membership. Uh a wise man once said, do long-term business with long-term people. So I'm here to do long-term business with long-term people. Hopefully you guys are as well. So without further ado, love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Consistency, intentionality towards your plan, execution in the intentionality, execution in the consistency, and finally, the belief that you can, the belief. And in that wavering of that belief that sometimes comes with doubt and insecurity, you crush and you valid and you invalidate that disbelief with your consistency and with your results. So without further ado, appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. Capital Club coming in the next coming weeks. If you haven't uh, signed up to the wait list, we have over 75,000 people in the wait list. It's crazy. Crazy. And I'm not letting everybody in either. So 75,000 people on the wait list. It's going to be nuts. Um, but I'll see you guys in there. Link in bio. Check that shit. And uh, yeah, I think there's a link there for you guys to, to wait list. But yeah, that's about it. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I was going to do Q&A. But I don't feel like it. Maybe I'm going to save it for when I'm in LA or something like that. 
All right, appreciate you guys. It's a beautiful day. It's it's uh it's Saturday beach day. I'm literally a couple steps away from the beach. You, I would I would show you guys the beach, but then you'll know where I am, so I can't I can't do that right now. I'll do that once I leave. Anyways, peace, ladies and gentlemen. See you guys on the next one.